Five businesses that you can start for 20,000 rands or less. If you've got 20,000 rands in your bank account, then you potentially have capital for a business that you can start. So if you watch this video until the end, you might find an idea that you will like and you will have a business that is potentially lucrative for you. My name is Tepo, older brother Tepo. In this channel, I speak entrepreneurship and entrepreneur's mindset. Subscribe and like this video. I want to get to 100 subscribers by the end of this month. So if you subscribe to the channel and like this video, you would be really helping my YouTube channel. Now let's get right into it. The first business that I want to talk about is a gota shop. Now I know that this is a saturated market there's a lot of gotha shops if you are from a township but if you pride yourself in quality and you provide better food better quarters then you will definitely have better business so a gotha business is something that is lucrative and you stand a chance to make five thousand to ten thousand rands every month all you need is 20k and then from that 20k you will take 10k and spend it on equipment and then you will spend 5k on stock stock being everything that you need to make your gotas possible the other 5k you will use it for branding for menus and for marketing note that i will be talking about marketing in every step on every business that i'll be mentioning because marketing is something that is very important for you to actually make money and a return on investment from your twenty thousand rands. business number two is to be a photographer or a videographer now there are photographers and videographers out there who are thinking to themselves well is that even possible to start such a business with so little money well it is possible and 15,000 rand you would spend it on equipment that would be your camera that would be your startup lens and a bit of lighting with that much equipment you can start your business and with the remaining 5,000 rand which is very important you have to spend all of that money on marketing because photography and videographer and videography rather a very saturated market so if you don't set yourself apart and if you don't get seen by as many people as possible you stand a chance of losing customers now with the photography business take this from me because I've done photography as a business and video as a business you can make 10,000 up to 50,000 rands a month in the beginning and as your quality of work gets better and you build your network and your client base you stand a chance to make a lot lot more and you just started with 20,000 rands Business number three, this is pet grooming. Now, if you are in the township, this is not the type of business that you would want to consider because most people in the township don't even know that they can do pet grooming. But for those that do know, then you would be lucky. But if you are living in a suburb, then this is a business that you may try out. With your 20,000 rands, you're going to spend 10,000 on equipment. From 10,000, you take 5,000. From the 20,000 brother, you will take 5,000 and you are going to spend it on branding and marketing. Again, branding and marketing are very important so that you may gain awareness, more people can know about your business. The other money that you would spend from a 20,000 rand would be stock. What do I mean by stock? Stock, you will be buying products that you will sell to your customers so that you can upsell your customers. When they bring in their pets, you can upsell them by selling them uh, products that will help with their, uh, with their pets, either for fleas, either for smell, anything like that. These are products that will go hand in hand with grooming of their pets. The other business is a business that I'm also currently in and you can start very soon with 20,000 Rand. Business number four is a tattoo studio or a tattoo shop. With 20,000 Rand for a tattoo studio, you would need to spend 10,000 Rand on equipment. Yes, 10,000 Rand on equipment as a startup because you don't want to spend a lot more than that. Of course, with the tattoo business, just like with the photography business, which I have experience in, you would need more money for equipment. But to start, 10,000 Rand is all you need for equipment. And then you need 5,000 Rands for branding. Branding so that people may know about your studio, wherever your studio may be. I run a private studio, so my branding, I spend it mostly online. The other 5,000 rands, you are going to spend it on marketing. Marketing meaning you are going to spend that money on a website. You're going to spend that money on Google ads and Facebook ads, reaching as many people as you possibly can. Once you know how to do tattoos, of course, and then you start getting your customers with a tattoo business, you will make five to 30,000 rands. It depends on how busy you are. And then it depends if that's the main thing that you are doing, you could possibly make a lot more money. Business number five is fixing phones. Now, when it comes to fixing phones, it's a little bit complicated because 
you may need to be at a location or you may also work privately but with 10,000 rand you are going to spend it on equipment 7,000 rand rather you're going to spend it on equipment and then you're going to spend 10,000 rand on supplies what do I mean by supplies this will be your screens this will be all kinds of components that are needed for you to be able to fix phones you can also add laptops and computers right in there with just call it mobile mechanic you're going to be a mobile mechanic 3000 rand you are going to spend it on marketing again marketing is something that is very very important so you want to spend as much money as you can on marketing so that you are exposed to more people the more people know about you the more you stand a chance of getting customers so if a hundred people see you expect one percent out of the hundred to become customers okay now with all these businesses that I've mentioned, if there's still more that you would like to know, if there's still other ideas that you would like me to discuss in this channel, I will definitely do that. And then for anybody who might be asking themselves, how am I justifying all the costs to the business and starting it up? You can comment in the comment section and then I will make a video breaking down each and every business that I mentioned in this video and justify each and every amount that I mentioned into this video so that you may get more clarity but I will be I will be making another video with five businesses that you can start with 20,000 rand so if you didn't find an idea in this video subscribe hit the notification bell you will see it on the next video I appreciate you very much I'm done with this video see you in the next one